to make a sports video. Been way overdue. Before I get on started with anything, I want to say big congrats to the Clemson basketball team. You guys made the season so much fun. As I've said before, basketball is right up there with football with me. I love football. Love Clemson basketball. Um, it was it was just a really fun year to watch. Sweet 16 team after losing arguably your best player early in conference play. Can't wait for it next year. I mean, it, it was – I can't express enough, especially that beating of Auburn in the tournament. Man. Uh, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, get a little discussion going. There was a segment on the local radio station up here a couple days ago of if the fans had a choice, who would be your top five non-conference opponents you'd like to see your team play? So I thought, okay, that'd be pretty easy for me. If you've been watching my videos in the past, you know the teams that I – Hate a lot. I've made it pretty pretty obvious. Um, obviously, South Carolina's up there, but since we play them every year, the first one I'm going to state is Georgia. I wish we played Georgia every year. It, it just makes sense for Clemson and Georgia to play because they are the closest two teams in the Southeast besides Tobacco Road up there. Uh, Clemson and Georgia, 75 miles apart. We're closer to them than... Um, believe like 30 miles closer to them than we are to USC and also I don't know if they're closer to Georgia Tech but Clemson and Georgia so close 70s and 80s we had a really good rivalry going you know you look at the series overall it's a bit lopsided um, before the 70s Georgia was 20 times bigger with 20 times more money than Clemson it's just hard for us to compete with any SEC teams back then the ACC had such strict academic standards it was it was a mess, um, and then, of course, Georgia got us a good bit in the 90s when that was our lost decade. But, you know, when both teams were good, it was a very good rivalry. Obviously, both teams are good right now. The last two times we played were good. Had we started Deshaun Watson, it would have been a lot better the second game. But um, both games were good. Looking forward to what it looks like us going to be playing again soon. Uh, I think it's going to be like 2020, 2021 it's looking at. So, you know, that that is a that is a great rivalry right now. Two of the best programs in the country going at it. It'd be great. It'd be great. So number two for me, Ohio State. Love to do a home and home with them, even though it would bring more people down here than there already are. Stated plenty of times the reasons I dislike Ohio State. The arrogant fans, the fact that they don't stay in their own state. They're always trying to get out of their own state and brag about their state while they're not in their state, vacationing somewhere else because nobody vacations at Ohio. Um, and obviously both programs are good right now. They got Urban Meyer, Davos Little. Little baby, little little brother down there. Um, and it'd be good to see another another matchup, and, and a home-and-home home would be pretty fun. I mean, I still think it would be pretty fun to play in Ohio Stadium. Another one for me is going to be LSU. The Death Valley, Death Valley thing hasn't happened since the – I mean, it's probably been the 60s or 70s since Clemson and LSU have had a home-and-home home series. I think that's long overdue. Um, also – Southern Cal. It was a tough, tough call between Southern Cal and Washington for me. Washington has a beautiful stadium. It's got a respectable football program again. Southern Cal, you know, I, I don't recall if Clemson's ever played a game in Los Angeles. Um, I know that that's the only major bowl that Clemson hasn't been to, the Rose Bowl. That's the, So I, I assume we haven't played in Los Angeles. I'm sure we've played team. I know we played Cal a few, like, a decade ago or something like that. Um, but I don't think we've ever played in Los Angeles, so it would be interesting to get out there, get a home-and-home home with them, even though none of their fans would come over here. Uh, and then finally, to wrap it up, I would have to say it'd be tough. I'd like to play Tennessee in a home-and-home home just because, you know, they have a they have a great environment over there, good stadium, but obviously I'd want them to uh, finally get it together first. Ole Miss would be tied with them because another fan base, like when they were having their cheating scandals going on and they were doing so good, they were taking a couple of recruits from Clemson. The arrogance over there was absolutely ridiculous. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Ole Miss has done pretty much nothing. You know, I'm not saying Clemson's a top 10 program historically, but Ole Miss is about as irrelevant as it gets, you know, um, and they, they have the mouth of Alabama. I would say Alabama also, but we play them every year anyway in the playoffs. So that would be pretty useless to play in the regular season too. 
Um, so yeah, I want to know what you guys think your top five would be for your schools, non-conference. Like if you had a choice, if you could choose where the schools that you'd want your school to play just sometime in the future, it doesn't have to be every year. Uh, hope to get some more videos out to you guys, especially as summer comes around and my schedule doesn't really open up a little bit, but it's a little more relaxed trying to get through uh, college and obviously the summer is going to be a lot more relaxed. So a lot of Clemson football talk coming, just football talk in general. I hope to see you guys soon. Go Tigers!